In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning. Well, tomorrow in Ottawa, a very anticipated event will take place. At 10.30 a.m., Barack Obama will be landing in Ottawa for his first foreign visit. Now, the nation's capital has been busy preparing for Barack Obama's visit since the news that Barack Obama's first foreign visit this is the first foreign visit as president that Barack Obama has taken, will be to Ottawa in Canada. And it certainly cements the relationship that exists between the United States of America and Canada. It's very significant that this is his first visit, especially when everyone has been inviting, every country on earth has been inviting the president to uh, visit their country. Now, since the visit was announced, the people have been preparing, and tomorrow there will be a showing of force in Ottawa to guarantee the safety of Barack Obama. Police officers from as far away as London, Ontario, have been loaned to the Ottawa police to make sure that the streets are safe. Now, the president will only be in Ottawa for six hours, and uh, the officials in Ottawa have been telling Canadians to stay away. The chances of seeing the president are very slim, if not totally uh, remote. But that won't stop thousands of people from driving to Ottawa to show their love and certainly their affection for the first African-born president of the United States. Now, all this preparation, the airspace above Ottawa will be closed for six hours during the visit. The preparation has been incredible. I would like to just invite you to start your preparation now. Not for the President's visit, no, but rather for the season of Lent, which begins one week from today. Have you thought at all about the season of Lent? Next Wednesday is Ash Wednesday. We will uh, give you an opportunity to receive ashes on your forehead, to be encouraged to turn away from sin and be faithful to the Gospel. The season of Lent, the 40-day preparation, is usually marked by some form of piety. Some people give things up during Lent to prepare for Easter. Other people do acts of kindness. They get involved in social outreach, community service. They, they, they do something extra to help the people of God to prepare for Easter. Next Wednesday, you'll be given a piece of paper. And on that piece of paper, you'll be asked, what are you going to do for the season of Lent? You'll make your pledge next week. Think about it. Do something meaningful. Be ready for Lent, just as Ottawa and Canada is ready for President Obama tomorrow. And let us pray today for the needs of this school. Let us pray for a safe visit to Canada by the President of the United States. And above all, let us pray that we will be ready ready to proclaim that Jesus is Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. With those students going on the Salesian retreat tomorrow, and the leaders who are preparing for the Salesian retreat, would you please meet me in my office at the beginning of period three today for a short two-minute meeting just to go over the logistics for our trip to Orangeville. The beginning of period three today. And have a great day, St. Paul. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Yekshima St. Paul's, my name is Patrick, and I will be your news anchor today. Do, the, do you enjoy the thrill of solving math problems? Do you pump your fists in the air when getting the correct solution for a math question? Are you a mathematician but embarrassed to say it? 
If you answered yes to any of these questions, the math department invites you to write the Waterloo Math Contest. Please see any math teacher to sign up or learn more details. There will be a quick Act Now meeting today after school in room 132. Also, would all the students who are participating in this year's Black History Conference please meet with Ms. Hastings after school today in room 132 for a brief meeting. If you are graduating and have not yet booked your grad photo shoot with a photographer who is located by the drama room, please do so today. He is running out of appointment times. Mr. Brugman's period three ComTech class is reminded that class will occur at 3AB today, not 3BC. Teachers, please excuse members of the senior girls volleyball team today at 11 o'clock for their officer qualifying tournament today here at St. Paul's. Players are to eat their lunch and meet in the gym by 11.15. Could those SPAC members with 3A lunch please meet in the gym office for an important meeting today? To all you skiers out there, the ski trip is next Tuesday. There will be a mandatory meeting on Thursday after school in the gym. The list of skiers will be posted on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Make sure to check that your name is on the list. Also, the weight room is now open. The fee is $30 for second semester. If you belong to first semester, you only have to bring in the money. If you are a new member, please get a form at the phys ed door and bring it in with your fee. All members must bring in their student ID cards. Well, St. Paul, those are all the announcements for today. The song of the day is Red, Breathe Into Me. Have a great day.